I edited this video in my internet browser. How is it going guys and welcome to the Olufemi channel. We're a group of teachers that wanna shore up your video production skills in as little time as possible. What's up guys, it's Quinn and welcome to the Olufemi channel. Today we're gonna to dive into a company called Runway ML. And Runway ML is a company that is literally changing the game when it comes to post-production. Basically an in-browser editing software. So that means you are quite literally editing within your internet browser. It's great for not only basic editing, but it has some really mind-blowing features that we're gonna get into. Runway ML is great if you can't afford fancy computer hardware or editing software, or maybe you're looking for an easy way to edit on the go so you don't have to lug your hard drives everywhere with you. Being able to tap into your edits from anywhere in the world, as long as you have internet, is pretty exciting. And today I'm going to edit a product video in Runway ML. Okay, so here we are in Runway ML. We are actually within Google Chrome. So if you open up Google Chrome, you type in this URL, create an account, you will end up here. And the first thing I wanna point out is how everything is stored via the cloud. So you never have to worry about missing footage, about linking footage to your hard drive. You're gonna put your footage onto here and it's stored within the cloud. It's also gonna be constantly auto-saving, so you don't have to worry about losing progress when you're editing. And we're gonna be editing a full product video within this program. So first thing you wanna do is go ahead and upload your video files. So I'm gonna go over to Assets, click Upload, Upload Folder, and I'm gonna go ahead and select my folder with all my video files. Click Upload, and that process will begin. Now, while that's happening, we're gonna go ahead back over to Projects, and we are going to create a new project. So this is what the interface looks like. It's your very classic video editing interface. You got the timeline down below, you got your effects and kind of details over here on the right, and you've got your assets, videos, images, music, and of course you have your program window right in front. Up here you have your playheads, you have your zoom button, you have your shortcuts that you can take a look at. And over here on the right, you can choose your different formats of how you want the video to come out. So if you want a story, a post, wide, 4K, you can adjust the ratio here, the background color, all of that can be done before you begin. All of my raw footage here, which is from my product video course, has been uploaded and we're gonna start editing. I'm gonna start with, I believe, this shot, which is just like a classic opening shot of the packaging. And you can simply just drag it into the timeline. So I'm gonna go ahead and skim through where I want it to begin. And then you can just drag out the ends of the clip to match where you want it to end. You can also right click and select split at playhead, which also will chop your footage. So once you select that clip over here on the right, you'll have a few different sections that pop up. So layout, so here are the positions, scale, rotation, all of those, blend mode as well change the opacity here. You have these magic tools, which I will get into in a few moments. Very cool and I'm very excited about that. Below that you have effects. So this is where you can add a bunch of effects that you'll see pop up here. You have different color effects, you have blurring, contrast. You have a lot of options here to stylize and to color your footage. We have the audio and below that is where you can export your clip. Obviously I shot pretty much all this footage on a green screen slash blue screen. And normally in After Effects or in Premiere, I would key out this background. I would clean it up and then I would use another effect to get rid of these sticks here. Or I could also rotoscope, which if you've ever used After Effects, rotoscoping can take a very, very long time to render and get it right. Pretty much every time I've tried to use rotoscope, I've always run into some sort of issue. But SQL has these magic tools here, which is all AI, so it's incredibly quick and incredibly fast. And one of them is green screen, which we're going to use on pretty much all of our clips. And I'm gonna show you how ridiculous this is. So we're gonna go ahead and select green screen. 
And this takes us into a new window where we will basically be able to isolate the packaging from the background. So it's really simple. You'll basically have this include button selected and you'll just click on different areas of the packaging or the subject that you want selected. And it's incredible how fast and well this works. I don't want these sticks in here, so I'm gonna go ahead and select exclude. And then I'm gonna select these sticks. And as you can see, it does a pretty good job. And if I go ahead and play it forward, you'll see how accurate this is. And this is literally took like three seconds. And then once you're done masking, you can click go to project. And now you have a very well and quickly done mask of whatever subject you were selecting. So now that I have this keyed out, I'm gonna go ahead and add a background, which I have already uploaded over here in my images some palm trees. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag that into my timeline. And then over here in my layout, I'm able to adjust the rotation and size so that it'll fill up that whole screen there. So obviously this doesn't flow or look super seamless. So we're gonna add a few effects here to make the foreground and background flush with each other. So the first thing I'm gonna do is set some keyframes to add a little bit of movement to this. So I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the size of my gum packaging here. And I kinda want it to, to push in. So I'm gonna go over to this little tab here. It's like these little stars. And this is gonna bring up my keyframes and make this a little bit bigger so we can see it. And over in scale, I'm gonna add a keyframe here, scroll further on my playhead, and then I'm going to bump up the size. So now you can see we have that movement. I'm also gonna go into my effects panel here, and we're gonna add a little bit of color. So I'm gonna go ahead and select color adjustment. Maybe we'll add some brightness and contrast. I can select this little tab right here, which will bring down the settings for me so I can make it a little bit less bright or I can just basically tweak this until it looks good. I'm also gonna add a little bit of a feather on the mask. So to me, that looks good. Um, and in the background, I'm gonna go ahead and select that, add an effect here, and maybe I'll add a little bit of a blur. So I'm gonna go ahead and search for blur. And we have a few different kinds of blurring. Maybe we'll do a radial blur and kind of get something cool going on here. So I'll go ahead and lower the intensity of this. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of movement to the background so that that will bring the whole image a little bit more to life. So I'm gonna go ahead and scale this maybe up a little bit. So it feels kind of all like it's one unit like that. I'm liking that. Cool, so we have a pretty cool opening shot here. Obviously it's, it's still loading. So I'm thinking maybe I'll do this shot of my kiwi opening, slicing open. Go ahead and trim this down to the section that I want. So definitely we wanna green screen it. Select the clip, go into green screen. Once again, I'll show you how well this works. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the parts that I want in. And now obviously you don't have to do this with footage that is literally on a green screen. This is for anything that you want to remove the background or isolate a subject. So as you see, that kind of struggles a little bit, but I'll show you how easy it is to fix. So I'm just gonna go ahead few frames where it kind of messes up. I'm gonna add these little guys here. And it, as you can see, it fixed it almost immediately. I didn't have to do go every few frames and change it and another few frames and change it. it works really well. I'm gonna add a solid colored background. So to do that, I'm just gonna take any image that I have here. Go ahead and rotate. I'm gonna resize it to fit the whole frame. And then in effects, you should be able to get a color fill. So I'm gonna go ahead and search color, fill color. And we're gonna add that. 
I kind of want to add a little bit more texture to this background and make it a little bit more animated. So there might be a better effect here. Ooh, I'm gonna try this effect called hatching. Gonna add that, obviously those colors aren't matching with the product. So we can go in and actually change these up. So maybe I'll do kind of an orangey color and maybe some sort of lighter orange, which actually looks pretty good. So I like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add my color adjustments to the Kiwis. I'm gonna scale these up because I think it'll look better if it's filling out the frame a little bit more. And then I also duplicated the kiwi, so we're gonna have two sets of kiwis here. And then maybe we'll go ahead and keyframe a little something here, maybe the rotation. Add a little bit of movement there. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap out this edit because I don't think you guys wanna be sitting through a three, four hour session of me editing. It's a little bit chaotic, but I really want to show you the basics and especially the green screen AI that this has. Even if you don't wanna edit on this program, the fact that you can come online and green screen out subjects this quickly is something that I know I'm gonna use on a day-to-day -day basis and I'm assuming you will find very useful. But regardless, it's great for editing. Everything is super easy to navigate. And I'm just overall very impressed and excited to use this in the future. So I'm gonna finish up this edit and I'm gonna fast forward to future Quinn's final edit, all done within Runway, ML, and SQL. So here is the final edit. In my lifetime, I did not expect an in-browser editing software that's as fast and as useful as this. I'm a creator that really prioritizes speed and efficiency. Usually my projects will have very quick turnarounds and Runway ML is perfect for that. I am all for making editing and creating as accessible and easy as possible. So the fact that Runway ML exists and is doing what it's doing is really impressive and I think really important to the creator community. So I definitely recommend checking it out because you may end up getting a lot of value from it. And that is it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.